Hey everybody, this is a very rapid introduction to Krita 4. It's targeted toward people who are very familiar with digital paint programs and either have not used Krita or haven't used it in a while. If you need more help, you can see my introduction video. If you don't know about Krita, it's incredibly powerful and highly flexible. Um, the other thing that you want to know is that all the links here underneath community and underneath help are very, very good. So if you need more help or information, look there. If you're already familiar with Krita but don't know how to do something or can't remember, check out my How To playlist. It's organized by topic and the videos are typically less than one minute. In fact, this video is comprised of a number of those videos put together. To open up a new document, you can select New File or File New, and a dialog will come up where you can select the different types of documents, including animation or comic templates. You can also customize the size of your document, so or select a predefined one. Um, I have created one called YouTube HD. Uh, there may be others that are available, and you can just set the dimensions and then save it as whatever name that you want. Once you've saved that predefined uh, resolution and uh, width and height, then you can just click on Create to create the document. Krita is highly customizable and these palettes where you can select different things like layers and tool options and things are called dockers in Krita. You find them underneath settings and dockers where you can see that the ones that show up are checked and the ones that aren't checked don't show up. Krita has the ability to organize all of your dockers in workspaces. You find them under Windows workspace and you can see the set of um, workspaces that come by default. You can also import a workspace or create a new one based upon however you arrange um, the dockers. Uh, one docker that's particularly helpful for tablet modes is minimal. If I select uh, minimal we can see that I can just touch these to change things like opacity and the canvas orientation. In addition, over here, there is a button to the right where you can choose your workspace, such as animation or big paint. Um, but this button does not necessarily, um, it doesn't work on some tablets. So the easiest way is just to go to Windows, works, Window, Workspace, and then select uh, the arrangement you want. Just about anything that you want to, to change in Krita can be done through settings and you can configure Krita and there's all different kinds of things. If you want to change the keyboard shortcuts or the um, performance capabilities or uh, canvas only settings, those are about the shortcuts related to um, rotating the screen, zooming in, things like that. And then tablet here you have the settings for your pen sensitivity. In addition, you can configure the toolbars and even select which toolbars are shown. For example, if I click on File here, it goes away um, because I'm not showing it or I can not show the brushes and stuff, so neither one of those toolbars are showing. So there's all kinds of things that you can customize in Krita. One thing that's of particular interest in Krita in customization is the configure toolbars. So once you have selected the configure toolbars, you need to select which toolbar you have. The main toolbar here is the one that has the new and open and save. And I am going to, for example, uh, add the clear capability. So if I want to clear the workspace, so um, I'm going to select clear and then click on one of these arrows and move it to a current action and then move it up where I want it above the undo and redo. Select apply, click OK, and you see that that button comes up. Now that means that whenever I draw on the screen, I can click on that button and it will erase the layer. In this view, on the left hand side, you see the toolbox docker. And that toolbox docker is organized in a way that might be a little different than other programs. So here you have your vector oriented tools, and then you have your regular painting tools. This is the paintbrush, and you only have one paintbrush. You don't have a pencil and a pen and other things like other some other programs. You have one paintbrush, and then all of these other brushes, whether it's a pen or pencil or a paintbrush, airbrush, that kind of thing. These other tools, here we have vector creation tools um, and line and shape tools. 
Over here we have uh, the manipulation types of tools such as move tool and transform tool. The crop tool here allows you to crop but you crop the entire image not just one layer. Over here is the uh, color selection tool and uh, gradient tools and uh, paint bucket. Then um, a number of other tools here, the specialized tools, but here are the selection tools that are of interest. Here is the magic wand uh, continuous, uh, contiguous selection tool called the magic wand and some other programs. And then your zoom and pan are at the bottom. With respect to the toolbox, um, it's important to know that uh, you can right click on that and you can set the size of these icons um, and it will change uh, so that depending upon the resolution and that's really helpful um, if you are using a tablet for example. Before you paint in Krita, you need to know how to select a brush. You do that by going to this brush preset docker. Um, and you'll notice that it actually has many different categories and you can create your own categories of brushes and those brushes can be erasers, uh, pens, pencils, uh, what have you. So these categories are actually called tags so to the right of this selection uh, you can add a new tag and there's also an icon over here where you can change the display settings uh, for this docker. Um, the, these same things are up in this button here so if you don't have enough space to see everything because of the um, space you can just click on this button and you will see those uh, uh, brushes as well and notice I can again I can select um, the category that I want and right here if I click on that icon I can change the thumbnail I can change the size and details and how I want this to be displayed. Now this button right here does show the pen or pencil or the instrument that you're using um, but if you click on it it doesn't uh, select a different one it brings up the editing dialog and we're not going to go into that in this video. To turn stabilization on for drawing go to the tool options panel and check brush smoothing. Typically it's set to basic but you can also click on stabilizer. Notice also that there is this delay checkbox. When the delay is on, notice that the cursor is like a triple circle. And as you try to draw, it will actually pause. So that may be something that's turned on and you don't even know it. To turn off the delay, you can still have the stabilization on, but it allows you to give uh, a smoother curve and won't really pause in between points. So that delay is actually really good if you're actually inking uh, line art. But if you don't know about this delay option, you may have accidentally turned it on and uh, cause quite a bit of uh, delay in your drawing and not understanding why. So that's it for stabilization. In Krita, you can import brushes that others have created. To do that, go to Settings, Manage Resources, and then you'll see this Active Bundles and Inactive Bundles. You'll have, by default, Krita 4. You may or may not have Krita 3, depending upon whether you've had an earlier version. And to add new bundles, you simply import the bundles, and then you move them over by selecting the bundle you want to move over, and then moving it over to the left if you want it included in the set of brushes that you're displaying. Krita does have eraser tools, but also you can erase by clicking this eraser button. So for example, I have a pen selected here, and I can click on the eraser button, and now I can erase using that same tool. If I unclick that button, now I can draw again. To erase everything on a layer, I can click on this clear button, which I added to the toolbar, um, but underneath edit, clear, or press the delete key and it'll clear the entire layer. Krita has a very nice uh, pop-up palette. If I right click on the canvas the pop-up palette comes up and it allows you to select a certain set of tools. If I click on this uh, icon here I can set which tools show up. So for example my favorites or digital FX, whatever your category. So these are the categories that you have associated with your brush presets. Over here are the tool options and I can close this dialog by clicking on this uh, symbol, this less than or greater than symbol. This slider here changes the 
uh, canvas zooming in and, and zooming out. Um, and then you can also flip horizontally. To pan your workspace, press spacebar and drag. Press shift spacebar to rotate your workspace or your canvas and press control space to zoom in and out. You can also rotate the workspace by pressing 4 to rotate it left or, and 6 to rotate it uh, clockwise and press 5 to get it back to its uh, initial position. If you're working with the tablet, it's a good idea to go to Window Workspace Minimal and there you can rotate and zoom in and out on the workspace very easily. Also, you can change the brush size very easily. To find these things in the menu, go to View, Canvas, and you can say you can reset the zoom, rotate the canvas, zoom in and out. And for zoom in and out and uh, the pan, you can also use the tools. To create a gradient, select a gradient tool, and then you can choose which gradient you want to apply with this button right here. If I click on that, then I can select the different types of gradients that I have. Uh, the most common one is foreground to transparent and then foreground to background, but there's a whole set that you could use here. So all you do is select the gradient that you want and then come to the layer and drag in the direction you want the gradient to apply. And there you have a gradient. The layer palette or Docker is very similar to other digital paint programs. You can create new layers, duplicate layers, move them up or down, uh, delete them. You can change the mode with a drop down. Um, but the thing that you might want to be aware of is to change the opacity of a layer. So here I'm going to draw on this layer here. Now I want to change its opacity. I click on this equalizer looking type of thing and I can now change the opacity of that layer and you can see that it has changed. Importing an image into Kretum is a little bit different than other paint programs. Instead of doing file or edit, um, you select layer, import, export, import, layer. And then you can just select the file of interest and it will import. So the last thing that I want to talk about is the text tool um, because it's quite a bit different uh, than most other programs. Adding text to your drawing in Krita is a bit strange. Uh, the way you do that is select the uh, text tool here and then you drag a rectangle. That's where your text will be added and what happens is a dialogue pops up and then you can just edit text here. Now that's not too strange. The strangeness comes a little bit later. So we just enter in uh, whatever text we want and we can also change the font type and uh, size and then you just click save. And as long as I keep adding changes, I can click on save and those uh, changes will be updated. So I can do that as much as I want. But the strangeness comes in a little bit later. So let's add another text box and I'm going to drag and I'm going to add some new text. And save close the dialog. So the new text has been added and we can see that we can highlight it. Now the first thing is I can't just drag this around like I do in most programs. Um, there's no uh, bars to resize or move. To move them I select the uh, move tool and then I move them. And if you'll notice I'm selecting both of them at the same time. And uh, if, what if I didn't want to do that? Um, so I'm not, ex I actually don't know exactly how we would move just one, um, so I'm not sure if you can do that. The other thing is, what if I want to edit some of that text? If I double click, it will come up and I can edit again. Let me close that and double click it again. Notice now, oh, it came up then, but sometimes it doesn't come up. So I'm double clicking, double clicking, and it's not coming up. But if I switch to the other text, and double click it will come up so that's a little bit strange but if it's not coming up let me do here if it's not coming up then what I need to do is I go to the tool options docker so I have to look for that and find the tool options so it's always important to know where the tool options docker is 
And I purposefully have uh, allowed the default. You can see in this uh, small screen here, I can't even see the important part. Let me drag this down, which is edit text. So when I click on that, now that allows me to edit the text. Now the other interesting thing is how do I delete this? Well I can't just select the box and press delete or backspace. I have to go to edit text and delete the text in the dialog and click save. Now the text has been deleted. We've talked about a lot of things today, but there's just scratched the surface of Krita. There's just tons of things that you can do, customizing everything, brushes, animation, all different kinds of things that you can do. So I hope that gave you enough to get started. Enjoy creating things in Krita.